Aaron in Columbus, Georgia. Hey, Aaron, thanks for listening. What's up? Hi, how are you doing, Tom? I'm very well. How are you? And thanks for watching Free Speech TV. What's on your mind? Uh, well, I had a question, comment about the intelligent design segment you had. Mm -hmm. But first, I want to say this about Trayvon Moore, and I think black people, African Americans, should be able to walk wherever in this country without being judged. I agree. All right. Now, back to the intelligent design. It seems like you didn't give your, your guests a chance. And I'm wondering why, why is there so much, I guess, why do you guys not, not give intelligent design a chance? Well, his strategy was to try to bury our listeners and our viewers in pseudoscience. And, in, in, you know, he, he did, you know, have his say. He said, you know, what about the fact that there are not these original forms in the Precambrian fossil layers, and how do you answer that, and and my response is, it's not my job to answer that. My job is to ask, well, why are you questioning science? The, okay. the, 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 in, the intelligent design, you know, if they wanted to just come forward and say, we believe that there is an intelligent creator, we believe that that intelligent creator is the Christian God, we think that people should go to church and hang out with that person, we think they should worship that person, I'd have no problem with them. Right? Okay. I call myself a Christian. Well, I have no problem okay. with that. But instead, they come forward and they say, oh, we, this is not about religion at all. We're just saying that science doesn't have any of the answers. Well, of course, science doesn't claim to have all of the answers, or even, in many cases, even any of the answers. Science you know, raises questions and tests them. But there's a difference between science and what's called a tautology. In a tautology, you start out with a premise, and then you look for evidence to, to prove it. And th that's what these guys are doing. They're starting out on the premise that science doesn't understand uh, evolution and, and there's a lot of holes in the evolutionary theory, and there's a lot of debate about it. They can, they can demonstrate that, and they do it in their books. But, you know, that doesn't mean that there's no science. Say that again, Shane. Oh, one minute. I'm sorry. That doesn't mean that there's, no, that there's no validity to science. Okay, and it seems like you may have, you have angst that the guy behind their sponsors. You talked about tobacco and all of these other companies that are sponsoring these guys, but I also have concerns about the people who are sponsoring the evolutionary theories. So well, that tends to be schools and colleges. Well, there there's a difference. I mean, there is information that's coming out that's being pushed aside. You know, people are losing their jobs for even bringing this type of information in the classroom. What kind of information? So, um, based intelligent design. Oh well, you know, I think I think a science teacher who talks about intelligent design should lose their job. And what they're saying is that God created the universe. And, and well, not just that God created the universe, that God decided that the human body is the perfect thing. I don't think it's that black and white. Yeah, well, okay, it may not be that black and white, but that's the essence of it. And if the human body is the perfect thing, then why does my shoulder work better? Aaron, Aaron thank you for the call. Uh, you know, we can continue the conversation another time. I think we're going to have to because we're going to take a break here. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching Free Speech TV. 20 minutes past the hour.